what trucks do we have here? We have the Scania, the King. We have the scum of the earth, the Mercedes, and another Mercedes, the Hobo. Which one should we pick? We also have the Volvo, the Queen. Which one? Which one will it be? Uh, the Scania is just going. Okay now. Well, Actros it is then. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't want to choose this truck today, but the problem is the Volvo. The problem is Volvo has some problems. <laughs> I already had um, a breakdown uh, uh, last week with it. Something to do with the air compressor and something is getting uh, clogged with oil and something something which uh, I'm not quite sure so anyway I, I, I can't use it uh, it just doesn't build up pressure I've told them again this morning hopefully it will, uh, it will get fixed or scrapped I don't know which of the two but uh, anyway we are with the Hobo Actros today um, I actually went into the into the into the Volvo. I set up everything. I was ready to go. Hooked under my trailer. And the thing is, when it's without the trailer, it builds up air quite nicely, and it it holds air. But as soon as you get under the trailer, and it's a bit heavy, the the pressure just won't it won't build anymore. Anyway, we are good with the Actros, except we are really 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 slow i'm even surprised we are overtaking right now i think this guy has a breakdown or something i don't know or oh, it's in limb mode i'm really surprised that we are overtaking actually i think this is the first truck we are overtaking today but not for long because here comes another hill climb in just a second so we're gonna fall way back behind I go into Scotland as usual, and uh, I want to talk to you uh, talk to you about uh, a couple of things because uh, these days on uh, on the Facebook groups and all over the place, a bit of uh, bad news, unfortunately, for our uh, for our colleagues working at uh, W WS Transport. Turns out uh, they received, I don't know, a letter, an email, a message, a phone call that basically 25% of their wages are gone. They just got a wage cut. And uh, I personally don't know anyone working for WS Transport. What I know is that um, got some connection with Stobart and f from that moment just just nothing is surprising anymore when it comes to Stobart everything is just like full of crap and um, I really feel sorry for them I mean 25% um, check cut it's 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 a lot it, it really is a lot just imagine if you're earning, let's say, 100 pounds a day, now you're only getting 75. So in in five weeks, you actually uh, in five days you lose one day's worth of work. It, it, it's a lot, um, and really, I don't think there is. I mean, I'm in the position to uh, to judge people because I don't want to do that. Everybody is free choose their own job or all and all that but if I were them I would just leave immediately you know, even in the comments a lot a lot of drivers were just like no this is my last day I'm just gonna leave the keys and the truck right here where I'm parked I'm not taking this and that's the that's the sad truth because uh, turns out what I've said a couple of videos ago when I was uh, 
when I was picking on store bus for, for what, they do, what they do and how they pick the drivers and Kulina Group and all that, turns out WS is basically the same. <clears throat> Don't know how well you are treated there, how well is everything, but um, I mean, judging, uh, judging from, from the comments, it wasn't that great. And um, I would really suggest everyone just to, just to leave because no, it wasn't worth it. And especially now that uh, word on the street is that um, the um, IR35 is going to get scrapped in uh, next next year in April, it's just a rumor. Nothing is uh, nothing is certain. Nothing is for sure. Um, I was checking the uh, RHA uh, website as well, the Road the Haulage Association. They don't have anything clear at the minute on that. They are just waiting for, for confirmations. It's a rumor, and uh, yeah, why not? Why not uh, try and do something else, either back on the agency or, or try to work directly with somebody like I do? So, yeah, some, some sad news, unfortunately, because 25% is really a lot. I mean, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take it. Doesn't matter how. Uh, how new the trucks are because um, I don't know if, if this guy was uh, was just taking the piss or he was serious about it because there was a post saying that um, uh, something like I don't care about the 25% cut because um, I got a, uh, a shiny new V8 Scania I don't know like I said I'm not here to judge people Maybe some uh, some people are more passionate about this job than I do, so then I can't really compare me how I think with their thoughts. Everybody should do should do their own thing, but I really hope we was joking because you can drive a brand new freaking anything you want but as long as you don't get paid. I was I was telling you this at the last video. The second to last, I think. Doesn't matter what you drive, as long as you get paid shit, you're gonna affect everyone at some point. Earning crap money will only bring the industry down. There's no way up if everybody is accepting uh, crap money. I would leave. I would leave uh, if I were them. I would. Uh, I would really hope for like. Um, I don't know, quitting in mass, I don't know, tens of drivers or hundreds of drivers. I don't know how many trucks they've got. But uh, maybe it would be a wake up call for them, you know, if everybody would just leave and they wouldn't take it. Maybe it will be a, a wake up call. But like I said, I don't, I'm not here to judge. I'm only telling my, my opinion. But uh, I, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take That's an absolute insult. I mean, let's say 5%, 10% cut, based on what, basically, based on what? Because let's say, okay, the fuel prices are gone up. I just fuel at the, at, 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 at the service station. I think it was two, two pound and seven cents. Now, from what I remember, it was never this high, the fuel at the, yeah, it's, it wasn't my regular place because uh, usually, yeah, that's that's a bit more cheaper. But anyway, the fuel, yeah, okay, it's it's a bit higher. But I would expect from the transport companies for I don't know a, a run that was paid, let's say uh, last year when the when the diesel was cheaper, uh, a price, and then because of the fuel prices, that those prices, those those rates will go up because the, the diesel is more expensive makes sense doesn't it because we can we as consumers we can see that thing on the supermarket shelves right everything is more expensive nowadays and why is first of all because of the fuel prices because the transport company needs a bit more money to cover up that deficit or deficit of uh, of uh, fuel and it makes sense we as consumers pay that but why does WS have to cut their wages of their own employees? I've got no idea. Maybe they don't have good contracts. Maybe they should think about, I don't know, 
asking for more because there is money. Look at the supermarkets, everything went up from poetry to meat to bread to anything. Milk, butter is two pounds. Fucking hell. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. And yeah, we, 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 can, we can still get, I mean, I always feel that uh, either Tesco or Asda or supermarket um, petrol stations, then you can get diesel like 1.7, something like that. Makes a bit of a difference. I never fuel, uh, fuel my car with, with top diesel. I, I never did, I don't know. But um, when you're on the road and you have to, uh, to refuel at the petrol station uh, on, a, on the motorway, almost over two pound a liter is just absolutely insane i know but that doesn't mean that the the employees have to suffer because of that i mean just imagine 25 percent is really a lot i really feel for for you guys if any of you are working wh ws whs ws something uh, I think one of the one of my watchers was saying it's Stobart's son or something. Um, I don't know. Just feel free to uh, to comment below because that's what we do. That's why we build this community to edu educate ourselves and uh, learn new stuff. I've learned a lot of things from you guys. There's always uh, room for improvement and uh, and to learn stuff. So yeah, feel free to uh, to hop in. Don't know how much were, were they earning, but I'm guessing not a lot. If it's um, in any sort of way connected to Stobart, <laughs> it can't be a lot. So yeah, unfortunately it is what it is, but uh, yeah, if you're not happy, as I always, always said, just walk away. There are plenty of jobs. I, inbox is absolutely full with job offers i've got just sign sign up for agencies anywhere you are in the uk if you have a bit of an experience i mean yeah work will be will be crazy in the next few months i'm, I'm definitely sure with the christmas coming and all that it will be funny once again and um very very curious to see uh, what was going to happen with the uh, with the IR35 as well. Um, I'm thinking about doing a, a live stream maybe this weekend. Uh, you're going to see uh, anyway this, uh, this clip very soon. But I'm thinking about doing a live a live stream this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, and talk about um, just placing some bets on the IR35. As we because I'm curious if we as drivers will still. Um, we, we can still go outside that IR35. It would be fun to see. Yeah, off to Scotland. Nice and sunny day today. With the Kratos. <laughs> That's a good joke, the Kratos. I think one of you told this joke on one of the comments. The Kratos. <laughs> That's a brilliant name. The Hobo Kratos. <laughs> but you know what? As le at least it's, it's pretty quiet. I don't know because maybe because there isn't any wind today. It's nice and sunny. It's quiet and I've got uh, heat and everything. Just a couple of miles back, it was like one degree. It was a bit of a fog. Yeah, pretty chilly in the in the during the the, the early morning and uh, during the night. Uh, with all the gas prices going up and all the, the bills are going up just imagine these people just before just before winter just before I don't know to wake up with a, with a pay cut just before winter um, I don't know but I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't stay for any second longer I would just quit and I hope you all do I hope there will be a mass quitting no really I'll then let them let them figure it out because otherwise they just won't learn they just won't learn see what they're gonna do next maybe some somebody will say haha they're gonna bring uh, immigrants to work for them 
Well, <laughs> it's not that easy, first of all, to get, uh, to get visas for immigrants. And even if they come, um, even if they can bring immigrants, uh, they can't pay less than, I don't know, I don't know, somebody was talking in the vlog that uh, basically the, uh, the immigrants who come here and work, they, believe it or not, they earn probably even better than I do. I don't know, there's some kind of, uh, some, some kind of law that doesn't let them pay, I don't know how low, but uh, yeah, that's definitely not an option. And you cannot get people into into the industry by doing that. So, I'm sorry, guys, but <laughs> your <laughs> your friend stop, but it's kind of ruining the industry. I really, I really don't uh, don't care anymore. I can talk whatever I want about them. First of all, because I am banned from uh, from stop, but I don't know if I've uh, told you the story, but. Um, like a couple of years ago, I mean, not a couple, maybe four or five, can't remember. Anyway, I was um, I was doing containers on stop, but in uh, in witness uh, through an agency, of course, and uh, I was tramping back then. Uh, I was tramping Monday to Monday to Friday, and uh, I think they called me on Saturday, say, hey, do, do you want to work on? Um, you want to start your your week this Sunday because the pay is great, blah blah blah. And I said, yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, my family wasn't here back then, so I had nothing else to do. And I was like, why not? So basically, <clears throat> I remember uh, my, my my job. I mean, I was doing only containers, so that's why I signed for the job. That's why I agreed to be paid X amount of of. Uh, of money because I was doing container job, right? Uh, and I got there and uh, I went to uh, to a small office. It was Stobart, of course. Um, and they gave me the keys, gave me the paperwork, and said that's the job for today. I looked at it and it was a Tesco, a Tesco delivery note. And I was like, what's this? I said, uh, that's what you're doing today. I said, no, I'm not, because uh, usually tramping on containers. And there were like, uh, I think, three or four guys very early in the morning, around, I don't know, four o'clock in the morning, something like that. Um, and they were just joking. They, they were laughing and joking and uh, they were laughing at me. said, ha, 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 no, today you're, you're doing uh, um, this shitty job. I don't know, I had deliveries in Manchester, double deck. Uh, they were laughing and but they weren't even funny. But they were laughing and said, no, I'm not doing this. My job is on containers. Do you have a job for me on containers or I, I can just walk home? I'm like, no, because you have to stay here because you're going to be banned and you have to do this because this is your job. <laughs> and they were fucking laughing like fucking fat pigs. I looked at them. I threw the keys like all across that fucking office. I threw in the paperwork and I was gone. They all just, <laughs> they were petrified. <laughs> they were just looking at each other. They didn't because I was angry and I didn't throw the keys like this. I, I just threw them, you know what I mean? So you have to come back because otherwise you're going to get banned. Oh, f you, man. F you and f Stobots and f everybody. I don't give a shit. You're not telling me what to do. And if that's the uh, attitude that they had with the rest of you guys. I'm feel really, really sorry, but no, I just couldn't take that. Of course, phone calls after phone calls after that from the agency. What's happening? So look, mate, did you know about this? That uh, I was doing, uh, uh, I was doing store deliveries today for Tesco's. No, we didn't knew. Let me call the boss, blah, blah. And the boss back then was a, was a Spanish guy. He called me and said, look, Raul, you have to go back because this load has to get to the stores. And I said, did you know? Did you knew that uh, I was doing uh, store deliveries today? He said, yeah, yeah, he knew, but uh, we knew, but um, nobody told you. And I was like, no, nobody told you. Nobody told me. And... Um, you should have told me because you texted me. 
if I'm if I agree to uh, to come on uh, on the job on Saturday. So basically, what he did is he knew, of course, um, and they were like maybe I don't know they were just testing me or whatever. But I really didn't. I didn't. I didn't care. I didn't care. I don't know if if this was probably it was the agency. If I'm thinking about it right now. But yeah, anyway, that's that's how I get uh, how I got uh, banned from Stobots. He reconfirmed me again. Uh, this uh, this guy from the agency that you're gonna be banned and all that. I said, ah, don't give a crap. Just give me give me my money unless I'll call my solicitor. And uh, yeah, he paid me. He paid me what I had to uh, what he had to pay me, and that was it. That was my short history with Stobots. To be honest, I really don't care. I absolutely don't care. Right, enough for the, enough chatting for the moment. Let's go to Scotland. Double decker trailer behind me, as usual. Just an easy drop and swap. And I have to tell you something about this canteen here, because it's freaking amazing. Holy crap! That's a Scania 770S. That's a 770 horsepower Scania V8. Fuck it, oh, man. Why would you need a 770 to pull a curtain side down? I don't know. I think, I think it's the first time I'm seeing 770 like real life like really close to me 770 fucking hell man I wonder if it really feels like any weight when it's pulling up a hill with something I think it, it just goes like like just like an just like I'm, I'm pulling an empty trailer I think that would be a fair comparison. Seven hundred and seventy horsepower. Fuck it, no. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know if any of you, any of you, are driving a seven seventy. If you do, let me know. Let, let us know how it feels pulling up a hill, like fully freighted. And really, what's the difference? Because, I mean, a 770 would be, I think it would be used, I don't know, look at him pulling away. <clears throat> it would be used for like uh, oversized loads and uh, very heavy stuff and all that. But pulling a curtain side there is just like, wow, fucking hell. <laughs> nice. And no, I still wouldn't accept a 25% cut to drive a 770. <laughs> Let that be clear. I will not take it. <laughs> oh, man.
Oh boy. Yeah. Bells Hill Morrisons. I'm telling you, if you ever get here around uh, around noon, lunchtime, do not miss the opportunity to go into the canteen and have your lunch. Um, actually, I didn't knew, to be honest, that there is a canteen here. Um, I think one of you guys uh, told me that. What's going on here? Come on, go, mate. Bed is open. So yeah, I didn't know that there was a canteen here. Thanks for letting me know, by the way. I do apologize. I don't know your name. I mean, I forgot it. So, I got red. The better is up. Damaged. So we're just gonna go. Yeah, so in this canteen, you can eat a lot with less. <laughs> I mean, today's menu were some pasta. They were looking great. <coughs> I had the, the white sauce, the, the, the ham or bacon or whatever. They look great. I had one of those. But I can only eat like maybe a quarter of it because they were they were just not the best. I mean, I mean they were just overboiled, almost turned into uh, into mash. So not the best. But then I went and get some uh, chips with curry, very good curry, spicy, with chicken and all that, and the can of. Um, Iron brew, if you are in uh, Scotland, you have to drink the iron brew. Altogether, it was under five pounds. Under five pounds. And if I wouldn't cho would have chosen for, <coughs> for only the curry, that would be, I don't know, about three pounds altogether. So, curry chips and a drink about three pounds it's just wow a couple of days ago i had a, a big a big slice of uh, of salmon really really good same thing 350 four pounds altogether just great if you're if you're ever here basket morrison just pop in I think they have the, the breakfast until until uh, 11, quarter past 11, something like that. Then they shut for about half an hour, just before 12 o'clock, they reopen. So if you're here, go in. And uh, yeah, thanks for the tip, by the way. A really, really good tip. Since I've uh, found out about this place, I'm not even packing any lunch because it just doesn't. I mean, you can eat for 350. What what more do you need? And I don't even have the uh, the employee discount because the employers, on top of that, they get 25% discount as well. <laughs> so how nice is that? So I'm not saying that. Uh, all companies are bad, you know. Um, congestion and 74 South. Um, I know I've said that I would never wear a uniform or, or, or of a big company, but um, I'll be honest. I, I've been talking to a few guys here at Morrison's, and not over, not here, but all over the place, and they are really, really happy. I mean, everybody I was I was talking to. They were 
they say that they are treated great um, they get just as many hours as they want not too many not too few four or four on i don't know 10 hour easy jobs at morrison's i don't think you um, um you ever touch anything like uh, what's in the back of the trailer so just go to a shop go to a supermarket deliver just reverse on the re reverse in the bay and that's it you're done feet up in the cab you're doing nothing you're not loading you're not unloading really really easy and the money i've heard is really really good and in most of the, the places they have these really cool canteens as well so i'll be honest i was talking to a guy he told me how much he was earning i was like okay you know, man If I weren't that far from um, from Godbrook, which is my closest depot, I would actually be be considering it, but uh, I'm just too far away, so not for me, unfortunately. But you never know. And uh, all all the people here, I don't know, but they're smiling, man. They're smiling and they're happy and they're happy to help. First time I went in, um, there's a double door. You walk up some stairs, and there's the security office, like just the, the security guy doing security thing. I mean, probably nothing. But uh, I've asked him, uh, "Can you can you point me to the canteen?" He said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, come with me." Of course, he was he was constantly talking, but I'm sorry, but I, I just can't understand what some of the you Scottish lads are, are talking <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know what um, even if if they are talking too much you just have to agree and <laughs> yeah and say yes <laughs> and just agree and laugh and nod your head and pretend you understand and that's it uh, I, I, I'm sorry but I mean uh, sometimes a Scottish accent and especially if you're talking fast I, I can't understand anything so I'm, I'm really sorry I apologize <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so um, he stopped what he was doing. Oh, of course, he was doing nothing, as I was saying, but um, he came with me to show me around the canteen. And he was pointing to the food as well. So this is where you get your trays. This is where you get your plate. This is the food. He was, he was explaining me the food was this, was that, of course. In, in, in sort of a fashion that I, I didn't understand, but I was just laughing. I was, I was happy because he was excited <laughs> because he was helping me. <laughs> he was an old man. God bless him. No, oh, man. I think he's, he stayed about five or ten minutes. And then he, uh, he sat next to me. We had, uh, we had food together. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, people are happy. And when people are happy and they're all smiling at the workplace, it's got to mean something. It's gotta mean something. They are, they are, no, uh, that's probably the most important thing to work in a in an environment that is relaxed, that is uh, calm, that has that zen, that has you no. Know. Oh yeah, yeah. But really, really, really good food, really good food, and um, yeah, pop in, pop in if you're hungry. Tell them I've sent you. <laughs> Every time I come driving through this valley, it's like there's a little voice inside my head saying, fix the van, get it ready, and go to Scotland. <laughs> I'm really considering going to Scotland in uh, in December. Maybe even um, catching the New Year's Eve up in Scotland's uh, Highlands under the uh, under the Northern Lights. Wouldn't that be awesome? Seriously considering it. Got no idea though. I mean, of course, weather is weather. You can't predict it. Can't be sunny and gorgeous like this, probably. 
can be all rainy, like a week or so. I got no idea, but if any of you ever went to Scotland, like in December, just let us know how's the weather. How cold it was, how rainy it was. Did you see the Northern Lights? Because maybe that's, that's important. But this valley is just absolutely breathtaking. It's like that, I don't know what it is about or what is it about it. That it's just like, just like the nature is saying, like see this part right here? If you think this is nice, go north. <laughs> go north no seriously I'm, I'm planning on doing it I've already got uh, I've ordered the, uh, the uh, injectors they are, uh, they are on the way probably gonna do a video about it because uh, why not maybe it will help somebody about changing the, uh, the injectors I've got a, a very very good tip from where I've got them and uh, all kinds of uh, good things hopefully if you own a sprinter sooner or later you will have to change them and it's a pretty easy, easy job you can do it yourself but yeah definitely planning on, uh, on going north just need to get the, uh, the diesel heater as well I still have doubts Either I should get a more expensive one, a fancy one, or just get the, 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 the cheap Chinese ones, which are also good, but uh, you never know. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. It's been great having you around. Really sorry about um, if I have any watches or at uh, WS. Really sorry about uh, what happened, but it is what it is. Well, like I said, if you don't like it, just walk away. Plenty of work, plenty of work, and uh, it's gonna be even more with uh, with the winter season coming season coming in. So you shouldn't worry about not finding uh, finding jobs. But yeah, it is what it is. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time. Take care, all the best.